I'm going to have to. Can you hear me now? Okay. You guys excited to be here this morning? Sure. Or are you just excited it's Friday? <laughs> um, how many of you like the word exercise? How about diet? How about doctor's visit? How about the word wellness? Wellness is a little better. That's the reason I liked what what this is called and kind of the uh, the direction that the industry is going with wellness programs. Those other words aren't too much fun, but generally wellness means you're happy, you're healthy, social, emotional, physical, the whole nine yards. Uh, one of the big things that we want to do, dispel with these wellness meetings is this is not mandatory. Uh, if you choose not to participate, that's fine. You don't have to. Um, there is a major incentive to participate, obviously. Your premiums are lower. And uh, Diane will talk about that in, uh, in a little bit. But uh, there is a major incentive. Um, yeah, it's a carrot, but uh, that's good. As uh, Jenica put out in the uh, benefits booklet uh, this year, I would much rather attend each of your retirement party, we have two of those on Monday, than attend your funeral while you're here. And uh, that's a big part of the wellness. I think any organization, public or private, one of their biggest objectives, one of the biggest things that they should be doing is doing everything that they possibly can to help their employees be happy, healthy, productive, and effective. Not just while they're at work, but afterwards as well. Uh, I'm going to steal a little bit of Bailey's thunder here. She's from uh, GBS and uh, is really helping us uh, with the wellness program. She said something yesterday that really hit me. 75%? 75% of the claims that they see come through are things that could have been prevented. We're going to have catastrophic claims that come up, and that's the reason we have health insurance. But if we can, that was a good one. If we can eliminate uh, the claims that can be managed, that can be prevented, it, uh, it saves a lot of money for the other county. But more important, behind those numbers are the people. If we can stop dread illnesses or some of the conditions before they happen, it's the people that are affected. And that's, uh, that's what gets me. Uh, as we started talking about this in the, uh, the insurance committee when we got our renewal, and our renewal was substantial, not a good way of putting it. It was brutal. It was going to cost the county an extra half million a year. Um, there was just no way that we could absorb that, and so we started looking at options. That's one of the reasons that we're switching. Their uh, plan came in uh, lower. Uh, they're also a, a tremendous partner on the wellness side. They're actually kicking us some money up front to, uh, to help us with our uh, wellness program. And I thought, you know what? If I'm going to be out talking to everybody about the wellness program, I probably ought to start doing something myself. So on October 6th, I started getting my lazy hind end in shape again. Uh, the first 10 days of going back to the gym were not pleasant. I did not enjoy it. Uh, now I'm to the point that if I don't go, I get kind of antsy. Um, my kids are looking at me like, go to the gym, please. Get out of here, do something. Uh, I feel a ton better, uh, a lot better. And it, it's made a world of difference. One of the things that kind of pushed me is my dad passed away unexpectedly five years ago. He was only 63. His dad passed away at a young age. He was 69. I started looking at family history. There's some things that are preventable that run rampant in my family. And I was approaching some weights and some milestones after this that I wasn't comfortable with. Do you guys remember this from the health fair last year? Your BMI numbers, your cholesterol, all that fun stuff. I was borderline or over in almost every reading. And it started to freak me out a little bit. So I'm anxiously looking forward, this sounds crazy, it's kind of sick, to uh, March or April this year when we do our next health fair. Uh, and there better be some improvement <laughs> or I'm going to be cranky. But um, to me, it's, it's, it's a lot more about the people than it is the numbers. We looked at Washington School District and also uh, Logan City. And they've been doing something similar to this for uh, quite a while. Uh, one of them was, I think, seven years, and one was nine. Washington School District actually saw a premium decrease on their renewal after they'd been doing it for four years. 
That just blew me away because insurance companies do not give premium decreases. I mean, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> but the only time that they do it is when your claims utilization is so low that they can give you a decrease and they're still making money. And yeah, that would be a great thing for the county. That'd be some cost savings, but more importantly, it means that people are happy and healthy. The other major bonus is if we actually got a premium decrease, the cost of living raises that you get would actually stay in your pocket. They wouldn't go to offset increasing health insurance costs. So the wellness program is not a cost savings measure. Uh, it's actually going to cost the county some money because we're putting additional resources into uh, to wellness, especially the, uh, the first year uh, in conjunction with uh, Cigna as a partner. But if it were strictly a cost savings measure, then what would have happened is instead of having an 85-15 coinsurance plan, we would have had to go to 80-20, 75-25, 70-30. Your benefits would have been uh, much worse, not as rich as they are. We wanted to keep good benefits, but we wanted to offer an incentive to get healthy. From a purely selfish standpoint, if everybody's happy and healthy, Everybody's more productive. Our workers' comp claims go down. Our liability claims go down because we don't have lost time accidents. Our uh, health insurance rates go down because we don't have the utilization. But again, it's the people. So that's kind of my two cents. Uh, I'm going to be here all morning with uh, these wonderful ladies. We'll now turn it over to Diane, and she will get into the, uh, the nuts and bolts. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. Um, this is this is your program, so. Microphone. I have to give it back. Okay, so these are the areas we will be going through um, next. So why the premium differential to improve employee health and wellness? To decrease the absenteeism and presenteeism. What is the premium differential? A discounted insurance premium for the employees. And, and it's like we said, it's just for those who choose to participate. It's not mandatory. So how does it work? Employees who participate in the wellness premium, um, they pay less than those who choose not to. Participation is completely voluntary. So these are the two required have to do is the biometric health screening and the health risk assessment. Here's your areas that you can work on, your preventative health screenings, your health management, coaching, wellness, challenges, wellness newsletters, wellness seminars, weight management, nutrition, exercise, hiking, races, health classes, and community events. So what do all these areas mean? Okay, so the one that is required is the biometric screen screening. It measures your total cholesterol, your HDL, your glucose, your weight, height, weight measurement, and BMI measurements. And this is the next one that is required, the health risk assessment. The health risk assessment is a medical questionnaire completed online regarding your personal health. And it will take about 10 to 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Who sees the results? No one at the county. It is completely just for um, a total gathering of everybody's input so they can tally all the scores and let us know what areas we need to work on the most. The preventative health screening, it's your physician wellness screening, your cervical cancer, 
your mammograms, your colonoscopies, your PSA test, your annual flu shot, shingles vaccination, dental exam, skin cancer screening, eye exam. The health management is prenatal health care throughout pregnancy, your postpartum exams, your chronic disease management, your mental health management, the coaching, Cigna products, they've come out with a great program with this, it's Cigna disease management with a Cigna health advocate, the Cigna EAP, my health assistance, you can participate with uh, Zenzi on mysigna.com. You can participate in the Tobacco Sensation Program. The Wellness Challenges. Um, we're getting ready to start with Resolution Revolution. It's a six week program. Strive for Five, Weight Management. Maintain Not Gain, which is going on right now and will count as one point for this year that's coming up. Healthy hand washing, rethink your drink, spring into motion, healthy reads, and the sheriff's office PT, which will be worth two points. Correct. And anyone can participate. One in spring, one in fall. One in, yeah, so it's split up. So there's one in the spring, and one in the fall, you participate in both two points for the year. The wellness newsletters, it's the Cigna newsletters, the GBS newsletters, and other wellness newsletters. The wellness seminars, um, Cigna puts on four seminars per year, so we'll do one each quarter. Wellness professionals, doctors, EAP, weight management. So if your BMI is over 27 and you lose 10 pounds or more, um, just provide us with a doctor's note or an RN and you can earn two wellness credits right there. The nutrition options, Weight Watchers, which is a two-month participation, online food journal and tracking apps, registered dietitian and other nutrition programs as long as it's a two month participation. Your exercise options are aerobic exercise with a two month log. <coughs> Your competitive sports which if any of you do um, co-ed softball or any of that, that counts towards it. Exercise journals and tracking apps. The hiking challenge. It's take a hike of five miles plus round trip. Um, a lot of you guys go hunting. You have to hike up a mountain to hunt. So right there is a point for you, easily earned. Races and events. The 5K walk. The Tupper Mutter. The 10K race. Half marathon, the full marathon, the half Iron Man, or the full Iron Man. We have health classes, so you can receive a point for any health class you attend that you feel was beneficial to your health outside of Cigna. All we need is just, you know, fill out the form. A lot of you actually might learn something that's very beneficial for everyone, and I would. Love to hear the ideas that you come up and what you learned in a class. Community events. So attend the county summer party and participate in the county sponsored blood drive, which we're looking to do one this year. And we'll let you know when that one comes out also. Okay, here's your point system. <clears throat> Your biometric health screening is worth one point. Um, we're looking at March right now. We're pinpointing down some dates, so we'll let you know for sure when that is. The health risk assessment, which is a definite you have to do too, and that's the online. 
You can't take that until you get your biometrics done because they'll ask you what your cholesterol levels and all that is. Your health management, the coaching, wellness challenges are one to two. That's the ones I send out every five, six weeks, however long the program takes. Um, the wellness seminars, the weight management, nutrition options, exercise, hiking, races, health class, and community events. That's how much each one of these will be worth. Okay, so how many points do I need? Um, you have a grace period right now for the first six months, which means um, everybody gets a lower rate for the first six months. By June 30th, you will need to have six points. By the end of the year, you'll need your additional six points. Does that mean you have to stop with 12? No, you can actually go beyond that, and we encourage you to. Um, for every 12 points that you do get, we are doing a drawing. And if you go over, that's one more time you get to enter into the drawing. We want to make it something really nice. We encourage all your spouses to do it, and we're going to have a special drawing for spouses only. Yeah? Maybe we'll get into it, but how exactly do you report all these? It's coming. <laughs> Okay, the premium differential options. So how much will it cost if you don't participate? The traditional plan is going to be an additional $65. The high deductible plan, it's going to be an additional $65 on top of the existing premium that you're paying right now. Okay, so all the instructions and the forms, you can go to the Box Elder County. Go to HR Employment, Employee Wellness, Pro, Employee Wellness for instructions, and then the Employee Wellness Forms. There's two different sections, and you can print them out there. Just fill them out and turn them in, and we'll keep track of all your points. Just call us, and we'll let you know where you're at, and we'll help you. Make sure that you succeed your point goal. Questions? Any comments? Is that a monthly or a yearly thing we fill out? It, it will be after you complete one. How would you? Yeah. Reimbursement. Oh, also. Um, we do reimburse you, every employee has up to $250 a month. You can use it towards your gym passes, um, eye exams, and preventative care. Is that a month or a year? A year. You said a month, so it's a month. Oh, sorry, it is a year. Well, I would hope it would be a month. <laughs> I know, that would have been awesome, huh? <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Just on, on that, um, it's 10 times a month. So if you have a gym membership, you go 10 times a month. Most gyms have an electronic key code or they have something so that they know who's coming in and out. The gym will do a printout or they'll just sign something saying, hey, John Doe was here 10 times this month. You bring it in, you can do it for you and or your spouse. It's a total of $250 between the two of you. So if my wife and I both go, we go every single month for six months, it's 20, 25 bucks a month, we'd use up our 250 in the first part of the year. But um, I like it. It's a great way to uh, get reimbursed for doing the wellness program. Do you have to submit it's best if you do, budgetarily. Um, it's been in the past, if the budget runs out, then you're just out of luck. So if you can turn them in monthly or quarterly on those gym memberships, it makes a big difference. So, Kelly? So the, she said the 250 is for the gym and the eye exam? Yeah, gym, eye exam, and any preventive exam that you have. So it just maxes out at 250. Any other questions? So is it just the uh, gym stuff, exercise? What's on the mm -hmm. gym? 
You just have to go, do you mean for the points or for the gym? So on that slide. Well, you just said exercise. So what all is included in the exercise part? <laughs> anything aerobic or anything competitive. Sorry, I'm trying to get to the slide. There it is. So, yeah. Bowling. Yeah. Bowling. It could, yeah, it's a competitive sport, right? So that would count. Yeah. Do you want the senior citizens there? Because there's a couple of us in here that bowl on the and bowl in your time. Sure. Yeah, see me after and we'll talk about that one. One of the things that came up yesterday at the, uh, with the road department, there were a couple of guys that on their uh, smartphones, they had an app on their smartphone that was a pedometer. And so they could set that and it would tell them how far they'd walked during the day. And with some of the things that they're doing, you know, if they're in and out of their vehicles and they're working on different projects, I think the one said he'd already hit three miles walking around that day. And so, I mean, it's, the sky's the limit. We just want to see people more active and more healthy. Uh, it's the preventative stuff. So. Okay, make sure you sign the roll because that's you're going to get credit for being at this wrap session. So, thanks for coming. <laughs>